Meg. Thanks, Meg. Uh, right now, as we continue to have the latest here, 7 o'clock hour update coming on in from the National Hurricane Center. Not much has changed really, really since yesterday. Uh, still does not look very well organized. It's very, very uh, kind of asymmetric or it's lopsided types of a system here. Uh, looks more like a subtropical system than it does tropical. But winds are still at 50, moving north at 12. Pressure still 994 millibars, and it is 70 miles uh, south of Grand Isle, Louisiana. See a big flare up of storms right over top of Grand Isle, so it's not too far away from the coast, and we'll be making landfall here as we get into the afternoon hours today. You can see by 1 o'clock near close to the coast and shortly after making landfall somewhere in there near the Terrebonne Bay area. Over top of the Baton Rouge area overnight by tomorrow morning at 1 a.m. Still sitting there north of Baton Rouge over parts of uh, uh, Wilkinson County, Mississippi near Woodville area and then tracking its way toward Monroe and then heading up to Arkansas and beyond as we go on into the rest of the first part of the week, Tuesday and Wednesday time frame. So still looking at it, working its way on into our area here and as it moves on in, it's going to be again very lopsided. You see a lot of dry air wrapping around the system here and almost making its way all the way toward Panama City. So you have a big plume of moisture over our area where the center is and another one well over here in the Florida Peninsula, and that's where the heaviest rains are going to be, where that deeper moisture is currently setting up across the area. You can see we are looking at some storm surge. We do have storm surge warnings and watches out. The warning here from roughly the mouth of the Mississippi River all the way to Bay St. Louis. Three to five foot surge above ground level can be expected with that. And then one to three across the lake here. So in the North Shore, you will feel some of the impacts of that. Likely they'll close the road up there right along the lake shore. And then also we need to be careful of the Plus area, Highway 51 area. Those uh, areas uh, that by that exit when you go from New Orleans toward Baton Rouge there that first exit you would not be surprised to see if uh, Highway 51 does have water on it and then two to four feet here from roughly uh, parts of the mouth of the Mississippi River lower Plaquemines Parish area Grand Isle area all the way back over toward uh, say Morgan City so we're going to see some of that water piling up in there so definitely be prepared for some surge flooding out there here's kind of a breakdown of what we're looking at across the North Shore again now to Monday six to eight inches of rain possible you may see some of the higher rain totals up here uh, versus the South Shore winds around 30 to 40 with some higher gusts and storm surge about one to three feet right along the lake shore heading back over toward Livingston Parish and Lake Moripaw across the metro area. We are looking at still here. I uh, was again rain four to eight inches possible here between today and throughout the day tomorrow. We are looking at 30 to five to 45 mile per hour winds with some higher gusts and storm surge three to five feet outside the levees as you go farther off to the east. So keep that in mind. Now we'll go over toward the river parishes. We do have again about uh, three to six inches of rain, a little less rain here, but still not by that much winds around 35 to 45 with some higher gusts in the surge along the lake and river about one to two feet. We will see a little surge going up the Mississippi River, getting up to about 17 feet or flood stage. So there is a river flood warning because of that. But of course, we're protected over 20 feet with the levees down here across the Bayou Parishes. We are looking at uh, one to three inches of rain that maybe not quite as much storm surge two to four feet down here. It does make its way on in there between, let's say, Grand Isle, Cocodry area kind of working its way through that area as we head throughout the afternoon hours today and over toward Plaquemines Parish. We do have there again. We are looking at there in St. Bernard again, four to eight inches of rain, but storm surge three to five feet and three to five also for the Mississippi coast. We're also could see some heavier rain around six to eight inches possible for you right now, though. You can see again gloomy weather as one of those rain bands moves in winds 18 gusting to 31 Kenner gusting to 39 at Lake for an airport now 36 down to the Port Fouchon area and there's that drier air was talking about kind of working its way into the region here and you'll see in the moisture. There's the rain coming on our area spreading back to the north, but over the Gulf waters, not too much down there. You can see closing on into our area. There's some of that heavy rain coming on into parts of the North Shore near Slidell back to Bay St. Louis Diamond Headed area through the metro area that pretty moderate band of rain coming on in pretty steady rain here and that'll help to accumulate fairly quickly to the south. Also down there from Leeville, the Grand Isle, Port Fouchon area. Another good batch of rain coming on in toward Port Sulphur as well. And you'll see here again, there's some of the bands of rain coming on in from lunchtime heading on into the afternoon hours. But then watch what happens 630 tonight. That heavy rain stretching from Mississippi coast to the North Shore and this will be persistent for a couple of hours. So we need to watch out, especially those local rivers. It does taper off by tomorrow morning, except for the Mississippi coast, where you can get even more heavy rain there, and it'll continue as to go throughout Monday. Now, some of these bands could set up, and that could lead to some flash flooding issues across the South Shores. So we need to be wire wary of where they set up, but we won't really know till tomorrow morning. Rain totals, we're talking four to eight inches from the Mississippi coast to the North Shore, down here about the same, and then over toward Morgan City, Baton Rouge, about two to four inches of rain. There is a high level here for flooding potential. It's rare that you see this, but 
but that is expected for flash flooding issues across the area. We do have the flash flood watch also in effect until Tuesday morning because of that heavy rain across the area. So we do need to be aware of that and a slight risk for severe weather because we could see some tornadoes out there too. So we all have that to watch out for a lot to go on today. So don't put your guard down just because this is a weak tropical storm. More heavy rain continues on into Monday and then finally things improve as we head to the middle of the week. So Dave, given the risk for severe weather and given the risk for uh, flooding, if people wake up and it looks like it's nice outside and they're kind of um, tempted to go out and run errands, go get something to eat, would you recommend that? Or is it something where these things can kind of pop up out of nowhere and they should just stay home for the day? I need to really stay home for the day. Uh, you know, it's just if you need to run out, try to do so now quickly because some of that rain's coming on in. But as we head a little later on during the day today, we are going to see some of those heavier rain bands come in, especially as we get to after lunchtime today. So if you think, oh, I can go to lunch today, I may want to have that better idea for that. Uh, try not to go out and about throughout the afternoon and evening into tomorrow morning. May have OK period tomorrow morning, Karen, but uh, may see more rain tomorrow. OK, thanks very much, Dave.